Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So it's Friday morning and I'm getting ready to, well, I have two things I have to do today. First of all, Ted and I are going over to the Neon Springs Tattoo Shop, which, which is where he gets a lot of his tattoos done. And since today is Friday the 13th, they are having a special um, where you can get a tattoo for $31 of some of the little 13 flash. So he and I are gonna go over there and see about getting on the list to do that, which yes, that means I'm getting two tattoos in two days, okay? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's too good of a deal to pass up if we can get on the list, we're gonna go do it. I don't know where I'm gonna get the tattoo yet, but not on this forearm because I have plans for that. So I'm thinking maybe like on the outer side of my wrist right here. I don't really wanna do this side of my arm right here because it's still kind of painful from my uh, healing tattoo that I just got done last night. So anyway, we're going over to do that and then I'm meeting my friend Melissa and we're gonna go have lunch and maybe do some thrifting or shopping or something. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. And then after uh, this evening, after we go get our tattoos, if we get them, I'll keep you updated. Um, then Ted's friend from Texas is coming to visit us for the weekend. So I am super busy today. But first, how could I forget outfit of the day? So the color of the day today is rose. So I'm wearing my pink moth shirt. The only thing I have in the color rose or pink and some black bike shorts and uh, docks and fishnets, of course. And as for my makeup, I used my Strange and Unusual uh, palette by Revolution to do a pink eye and I got pink lip gloss. I'm just going all pink today. I'm wearing this beautiful rose quartz necklace that a subscriber sent to me. It's so pretty. So yeah, it's kind of big, but it is really pretty. So that's what I'm wearing today. And then I also have my moth ring accessory today. My nails look like shit, haven't done them in two weeks and fuck it, I just don't have time right now. So I'm going out there with chip black nail polish. I am on my way over to the tattoo shop. So Ted is taking his lunch break early so we can get there right when the doors open. Um, they're just taking walk-ins all day. So we're hoping we can just like get on the waiting list and come back about 6 p.m. And they're only doing tattoos until seven. So we may or may not be getting a Friday the 13th flash tattoo today. All right, guys, I am here at Neon Springs. Well, actually I'm across the street from it because the building is right over here in that little corner spot of that strip mall but as you can see there's no parking on the street um so i had to park at the gas station across from it and now i'm waiting on ted to get here and then we're gonna go in together and there he is <laughs> okay y'all so we just went in and there were a ton of people waiting so we're just gonna have to come back at like six o'clock after ted gets off work and hope that uh, they can get us in. Cause there were like 20 people waiting in there and they're, they're giving out numbers. But they had a bunch of cute little 13 tattoos. They had like a skull and a mushroom and a gravestone. Those are the ones I'm kind of thinking about getting. We'll see. It's loud on this street. So I'll see you guys when I get back to the house. Say hi to the vlog, Ted. Hello. <laughs> I gotta go back to work. Yeah. Well, that didn't go as planned. We probably didn't even need to come over here and we accomplished nothing. So I'm headed back home to get ready to go meet my friend Melissa now. But one good thing is I'm gonna use this opportunity to take myself a beautiful drive over the mountain today. The weather's starting to cool off and it feels so nice. I think it's 73 degrees outside. That's awesome. Uh, it's gonna be a great day for going out and thrifting and and doing shit outside whatever i don't know what we're gonna do so on my way home i decided to stop at mcdonald's and get myself an iced coffee and so this is a tip for those of you who are on low carb or keto or even carnivore if you like your iced coffee like i do you can get it from mcdonald's if you order it on the app and i'm sure you can do this in store too but if you just order a an iced coffee and then say no liquid sugar and add two Splenda, it is really good and it's only a dollar 79 so it's like way cheaper than Starbucks or Duncan. The thing is you just there's no flavor options. They don't have any sugar-free flavors at least not in my area. When I was in Colorado they used to have sugar-free vanilla but here they just they don't but you can get plain iced coffee with cream and Splenda at McDonald's for a dollar seventy nine. I'm gonna grab. I'm going to grab mine now. Thank you, Jesus, McDonald's. Are we using the mobile app today? Yes, it's YW73. Hi, right, Cindy. My name is Nate. Take a look at the screen. Let me know if anything is correct for you. That's it. All right, go ahead and pull around the first window. We'll get you taken care of. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Coffee. Thank you. No food today. <laughs> Just coffee. Thank yeah. you. You, have a good day. you too. See you okay, see ya. 
that's the guy who works here at the McDonald's and he knows me by my order. Um, usually when I come through and get my two double cheeseburgers. So uh, he always comments when I order something different. I was like, yeah, no food today. <laughs> but he came and brought me my my iced coffee and he wasn't even the one working the, uh, the drive-thru. Somebody else was there. Oh, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing that they know me so well at this McDonald's. But anyway, I am going home and I got to get ready because I'm going to be me meeting Melissa here in about 30 minutes. Melissa just called and she's on her way to come pick me up. And I'm enjoying this iced coffee, which I forgot to show you guys when I got it from McDonald's. But this shit is good. All right, y'all, I'm here with Melissa. <laughs> She's looking so cute today. And we are at the airport uh, flea market and antiques. I have vlogged here from before, I think on a member's vlog. But anyway, we're going in, we're going to check it out. Airport road, flea market and antiques, y'all. Let's go check it out and see if they have anything good. I bought a Care Bear in here last time I was in here. It was awesome. Look at this little salt and pepper. It's a little fork and spoon man. <laughs> Spoon man. Yep, we're in the flea market and just having a look around. I'll let you guys know if we find anything interesting. I see some fall Halloween stuff. I'm always looking for that. Look at this, y'all. We've got some skeletons all dressed up here for Halloween. Does he have a gun in his hand? He does. Is this and Bonnie and is this Bonnie and Clyde skeleton version? I think it is. He's got a flask. <laughs> Drinking and shooting and flapping. I might have to come here for my Halloween costume. They have like the cutest hats and look at this dress. Wear that whole outfit and just be a witch. <laughs> Melissa found a beautiful a, a cherub, I think that is. Yes. I was gonna call it an angel, but are you gonna get it? Yes, Aww. yes I am. And that's for your memorial for your mother-in-law? Yes, and she collected cherubs, angels, all oh, things. Oh, that's so. perfect. Yeah. I love this thing on the wall, this like, Castle turret, or it's a church, I guess, that has a cross yes. on the top. That is cool. Cathedral. Yeah. I look at this fox plate. I love foxes. That is so cute. Does that say four dollars and fifty cents? God, the prices are so good here. I want to buy it, man. I'm trying to stop buying stuff. <laughs> Between me and Ted, we have so many like just weird little trinkets and stuff, but I like it. Uh, I found a vintage Cabbage Patch, one of the first ones. Look at his nose. And it's a little boy. And look at his little suit. So oh, we're trying- Overalls. Oh, oh, overalls. <laughs> so we're trying to look at his little butt patch. We're gonna have to unbutton him here and see what it says. I really want to buy him. I really do. I got, I'm such a sucker for these 80s toys. Oh, I don't oh, know. Does he not have the signature? If he doesn't no. have the signature, I can't get him. Well, he either maybe he's, he may be well the fa the head is a real cabbage patch head i'm pretty sure or he's one of those knockoff ones i can't remember what they were called he's he does not he, oh he's got a type he does not have the xavier whatever it is signature on his bow or so. tag whatsoever no i'm not getting him dang it i was hoping i found something good <laughs> this is a handmade dragon pterodactyl Oh, dra pterodactyl. <laughs> Dragon pterodactyl. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a pterodactyl. pterodactyl. No, you're right. You're right. It's a pterodactyl. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. That's it's really, really cool. cool. It is. Yeah, I mean, somebody made that. Even got a cute little bow. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I just found this purple velvet skirt. Look at this thing. It's got a slit in it like this i might even make the slit bigger um it's a size medium which is what i usually wear i don't know if it'll fit me but it's only three dollars and i'm taking it home that's gorgeous y'all this came from earthbound which is like my favorite store downtown so that's crazy i'm getting it for three bucks i just found this hamsa hand they only want five dollars for it it's really cool i've always wanted one of these but i want one a little bit bigger oh i don't know i might take that home Melissa just found a treasure of unknown proportion, corn candles. They're I love cute. these things so freaking much. <laughs> they're candles, but they're little ears of corn. I want them. How much are they? I think they come with the ugly turkey. Oh, I don't uh, want the whole setup. It comes with the turkey. Yeah, I don't want But the, I like the corn. The corn is so cute. I got to see if I can find some of those somewhere <laughs> else online or something. Let's see. Yeah, they have a little turkey holder. 15 bucks. For the set. I don't want the turkeys, no, though. Turkey yeah, but I love those candles. Me too. 
Melissa found the cutest little elf on the shelf. Look at his little <laughs> outfit. Oh my God. Are you bringing him home? I am bringing him home. Oh. <laughs> I found a sculpture of the lovers, the skeletons. This is really cute. It's only $6.99. Some of the stuff last time I was in here, some of you guys were telling me that it's like dollar store stuff that they're selling in here for like five bucks. So now I don't know. I feel like this hand is probably mass produced, but I still like it so much. I'm buying it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. That looks really cute on you. <laughs> it does. I don't think I could carry that because it has that stem sticking out. I feel like that'd get it's, caught it's, on everything. Yeah, it's just a And you couldn't flat. set it down. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute though. Ye old bag of witchy shit. I have a bag kind of like that, but it doesn't have the ye old in it. Yeah. Might be makeup, might be weed. Who knows? But you're just begging the cops to search you if you carry that around. <laughs> I think I'll get it. Will you? Yeah. You they should. never search me. They always tell me. Of Go course your not. Is. You look like a business lady. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I get it. Get okay. it. I love it. There's a bowl of glass vegetables back here. What do you even do? A, a glass leak. Mm. That's what we need. That's what everyone needs a glass leak in the kitchen. I guess it's just decor, but yeah, it's glass. Uh, it's glass this beautiful vase Melissa found and they're only asking three dollars and fifty cents for it that's gorgeous beautiful beautiful you gonna get it yeah <laughs> you should that's so cute also y'all my tattoos doing well look how pretty it looks in this light it uh it, it hurts it feels like a sunburn it's real sore but Melissa is so nicely carrying my uh, skirt for me so I don't have to drape it across my tattoo arm. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tempted to buy this painting of a pig. It's only $10. I gotta stop bringing home stuff to hang on the wall. Our whole walls in our house are just gonna be covered with random crap. But man, I like it. Y'all, this is crazy. Melissa was just telling me about her white trash cooking cookbook that she has at home and this is it. We just found another copy. I gotta buy it. $5.90, I'm buying it. This is White Trash Cooking by Ernest Matthew Mickler. <laughs> and it's got a recipe for cooter pie. Cooter pie, a true Arkansas delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, cooter pie, the hunter's delight. Mock cooter soup. So if you guys wanna know what cooter means, okay, it's slang for a vagina, but it's also slang in the South for turtle. And here you go, a true Southern white trash feast. Cooter pie, the hunter's delight. First you take a live cooter and wait for him to stick his head out from under the shell. <laughs> when he does, you grab it and whack it off. Take a hatchet to the underside so you can get to the meat and remove it along with the liver, tripe, and eggs, if he has any, set aside. Then you're going to fry all this stuff up together. Oh my lord, have mercy. A hunter will come out of the woods to get this. <laughs> I, I'm getting this book. Okay, y'all, we're leaving the uh, flea market. I ended up buying the purple skirt and the white trash cooking and the ham hand. So I got some treasures today. And now we are starving, so we're going to get something to eat. And Melissa also bought a bunch of treasures in there, too. I, I love that place. So we parked downtown and we decided to go eat at Diablo's, which is a place where we can eat out on like outside and it's a really nice day and it's like a Mexican food. So I'll show you guys when we get over there. We're parked over here at the visitor center and it is so nice today. And they've got the fountain going and there is Diablo's right back there. I've eaten here once before. Melissa's eaten here a couple of times and the food is really good if you ever come downtown Hot Springs. Melissa just gave me a penny to make a wish in the fountain. Are you making a wish? All right, do it. Go for it. <laughs> All right, here goes mine. Yay! May all your wishes come true. Crossing the street, and here's another restaurant over here, Angel's Italian Restaurant. They closed this one down for a while, but it's opened back up. It's supposed to be pretty good, but I haven't eaten there in like 20 years, so I don't know. We're going over here to Diablo's and they have this really cool uh, sculpture outside. Yeah, here's the statue of Diablo's. Ooh, I wanna take a picture of that, that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna go up and get seated and then I'll show you guys some more. So here is our seat. We're seated outside on the patio. There's Melissa. <laughs> 
Here's some of the menu, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. Probably the thing I got last time I was here because I was doing carnivore diet then. I can't remember what it was though. I gotta find it here. So I am getting the pollo con chorizo, chicken with homemade chorizo covered with cheese sauce. And then of course I'm not gonna eat the rice or beans or tortillas, but I just want the chicken and cheese and chorizo. Our food has arrived and Melissa got a quesabirius. That I think that's how you say it. And she got carnitas in them. They look so good. And I got, here's my uh, chicken with cheese and uh, chorizo on it. I'm not gonna eat the rice, but yeah, I'm gonna eat all of this because I am hungry. All right, I'm trying it. Mm. Mm. Their chorizo is really good. Is yours good? Uh-huh. It looks fantastic. It is very good. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so before Melissa takes me back to my place, I'm gonna go over here and have a smoke break. And uh, Melissa doesn't smoke, but she's gonna come join me. And I'll show you guys this real pretty fountain over here. Um, this is a really nice place. You can come in the visitor center, in the park, just sit here and enjoy the views. This is a really good time to come to Hot Springs in the fall. Um, I would recommend October, November. It's a great time to come. The weather's nice. You can explore and experience everything without it being too swelteringly hot. But anyway, you know I always love to give my hot springs tours and tell you guys all about it. But I'm going to have my little smoke break here and then we're going to head back. What the sun say, all the toy for all your you give him a tip. He's trying, bless his heart. He's trying so hard. So hard. I see this guy down here downtown a lot and he's not good. Bless his heart. He's not good. But hey, he probably he strums on the guitar and he sings and he gets some tip money, man. You gotta respect that. That's right, that's right. <laughs> well, y'all, I made it back home after our thrifting and lunch. I had such a good time with my friend, Melissa. I'm so glad that I'm able to have her in my life again and spend time with her again. She's an amazing person. She's one of the nicest people I've ever known in my life. And she's still just as cool as she was when we were in junior high. So um, yeah, real awesome to be able to hang out with her again. I have about two hours before Ted gets home from work and we're going back over to the tattoo parlor. So I'm gonna go try to get some editing done in that time span. Hopefully, I don't know if I'll be able to get a full video out, but I'm gonna just work for as long as I can. I'll see you guys here in a couple hours. So I managed to get a video published today. Somehow among the madness, I managed to do it. It was only 20 minutes long, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me get my tattoo. Ted is here. He's turning. I'm trying to drive a huge FedEx truck coming at me. <laughs> and he is driving us back over to the tattoo shop and we're gonna see if we can get Friday the 13th tattoos. I'm thinking that they might be too busy at this point because it's almost six o'clock and they're only doing it till seven. And a lot of people are getting off work and going to try to get their tattoos. So we'll see. Okay, we're back to try our luck again at Neon Springs. And this time there's parking spots. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe we'll be able to get in. And if so, I'm gonna do a little tattoo on my wrist. We'll see how it goes. We are in, so there are two people ahead of us and then we're going to get our Friday the 13th tattoos and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm getting. Okay y'all, well we got our Friday the 13th tattoos, but they're wrapped up. So yeah, so I got mine on the top of my arm. Ted, oh, Ted took his wrapping off. Ted got the lips, y'all. It's so cute, little 13 lips. I got a horseshoe. But I'm keeping my wrapping on until tomorrow, so I will show you guys in the morning. Right now, we're going downtown to meet one of Ted's friends who came into town to meet us. All right, guys, so we're stopping back by my house after Ted and I got our tattoos, which I still can't show you mine. I'll show you when I unwrap it in the morning. Uh, but we have Ted's friend here. We're about to take him out on the town for the night. This is James. Say hi, James. Hello. <laughs> and here's Ted. Say hello, Ted. Hello, Ted. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go to Oakland. Yeah, let's go. All right, I need to eat too. The band's on, it's, oh, the band's been on for an hour. Oh, oh crap, it's 10 o'clock? Yeah. It took so long at the tattoo shop. All right, let's go. Yeah, we got there about six, we didn't leave till 8.30. 8.30, yeah. But when we got in, there was, we were probably five people ahead of us. Mm-hmm. And then 
I guess we just, she was just Can talking a lot. Like we were hanging out. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was fun, but it did take forever. And now I'm starving at 10 o'clock at night, and we need to go get foods and foods and drinks. And yes. Win some money. Yeah, yes, some win money. some money. You're yeah. going to be our lucky charm, James. <laughs> And I thought we were going to be the if last one. If not, I'll ones. give your, your audience my cash app and they can... <laughs> they can donate yeah, to yeah. the funds. Somebody probably will. As we are at Oaklawn, we're going in. Now, I am not allowed to film in here. Um, I have been asked to stop filming in here before. So I'm going to try to get a little footage for you and I'll be very discreet. Uh, but we're going in to have a good time tonight, hopefully. All right, y'all, we are at Silks getting some food before we go out into Oaklawn proper. And Silks has like reduced their menu, but Ted and I are gonna get wings and we're gonna get the lemon pepper wings for dinner tonight. It's uh, real busy in here tonight. Oh my goodness, we've ordered our drinks. Oh, beef bacon? Yeah, that's good. I like it. They got whale bacon. Whale bacon? whale shark. Ew. Our wings have come, y'all. So I here are the lemon pepper wings, eight of them. That's what Ted got, and James got chili. Yum. <laughs> Here's the remains of my dinner. That's all that's left. I devoured those fucking wings. I told James he was gonna be our lucky charm tonight. He's hitting on everything. Skywheel. Did you hit 15? Mini bonus. And a respin. Hi, Ted. Oh, you're filming? Yeah. I'm smoking and drinking. You're smoking and drinking? Yeah. You fucking degenerate. This is just the worst thing you can do to yourself. It is. It's true. <laughs> but also, you can have a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not too excited in the moment, you guys, but I just won 30 bucks. So I put like 15 in this machine and I'm leaving. I won 29 bucks. All right, 2908. Hell yeah. Next round is on me. It's like 10 gauge, fairly thick, little under uh, about an eighth of an inch, about an eighth inch. You see how it's really rigid, right? It's 10 gauge, but you, you, ever, you ever knock on one and see how, how, how strong it is? Well, so it's, it's not. It's layered steel is what it is. But it's like some of them are like two inches thick. Yeah, it's not like a it's not like a it's not like a flat piece. It's like a it's like a so it's not just a flat piece. No, yeah, it's like it's a it, so that gives it strength. Like, but but the steel itself, if you ever cut into it, it's layered steel. And a lot of people can't wear that because it'll eat through the layers. But it's pretty much like it's, it's just 10 gauge. And if you just weld it like 10 gauge, yeah. it'll weld. You can weld it with a one ten. Yeah. Well, y'all, it is Sunday now. And we had a great weekend. Ted's friend came and stayed with us for the weekend. We had a blast. And yesterday, we all just slept all day and then got some food and went back to sleep. So, yeah, we had a great night on Friday night. I think we didn't, I think we stayed up until 10 a.m. Uh, on Saturday morning before we went to bed. So it was a blast. And I never got to show you guys my uh, new tattoo since it's like unwrapped and cleaned and everything. So here's what it looks like. It's a little 13. Let me show you a better angle. There it is. It's a little 13 horseshoe. So people were asking me the meaning of my raven tattoo. And honestly, it doesn't have any meaning besides I just like ravens and roses. This one has more meaning to it. And that's because 13 is my lucky number. I know I've said that before. And horseshoes for good luck. So yeah, this is just my little Friday the 13th tattoo that I got. I'm going to get another one in December. There's going to be another Friday the 13th where they're doing $31, $31 tattoos. So I'm going to go get another little one then. So here's Ted's little Friday the 13th lips tattoo. <laughs> it's so cute. He got it on his leg. And then his candle is looking so good. That is just beautiful. It looks so good with your other uh, tattoos too. Look how colorful they are. Gorgeous. Yeah, the dude that did it is the girl who did this one. That's her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and joining me for another vlog. I will see you guys with a new one very soon. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye. <laughs> I got my I got my spiel mixed up. Mm -hmm.